chapter 5, verse 43 to 45. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is for out for many, forgiveness of sins. In Mark chapter 1, verse 4. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching the baptism of repentance for, for the forgiveness of sin. In Luke chapter 1, verse 77, to, to give to his people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of the sins. In Luke chapter 3, verse 3, for he came into the into all the districts around Jordan, baptism, preaching the baptism of, of repentance and forgiveness of sins. In Luke chapter 24, verse 27, 47, and the repentance for forgiveness of sins will be, will be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. I don't know about you, but repentance is vital to our life. We can't, hold, we can't hold bitterness and resentment into our lives. We need to give wrong to doing. Even though we, we forgive, they still have to face the punishment. They still have to do the time sometimes. But it's, forgiveness sets us free. And, um, and because God loves us so much, he was willing to forgive us of our sins and to die for us. And God wants us to do the same. He wants us to give. He wants us to give other people for their for the wrongs they have done us, and um, because all unforgiveness does is just eat you up. Bitterness and resentment just eat you up, and we need forgiveness. We need forgiveness. And um, Matthew West, I, I love this song about forgiveness. It's it's, it's, it's a down the course says it all. Show me how to love the unlovable. Show me how to reach the unreachable. Help me now to do the impossible. Forgiveness. And um, it's an awesome song. Have a chance to listen to it. Or to hear the testimony of the woman whose daughter was killed by a drunk driver and how she forgave this man how that changed her life and his and if you do listen to that testimony on YouTube or if you have a chance to listen to it you should have lots of Kleenexes because it will make you cry about how God forgives us and how we need to forgive others and how forgiveness can change the world and I'm just thankful that you know there are many people who believe in different things, but I, I, I'm i thankful I believe in a God who loves me, and and he's not a vengeful God, he's a loving God. I don't believe in a God that, that wants revenge or wants you to take your life by killing someone else. I believe in a God who loves us so much that he was willing to die for me. I And I, are you ready to live for him? I live... I want to live for God, live for Jesus. You know, I don't know all the answers. I just know that God is good. He's awesome. So keep living for Jesus. Keep living for your neighbors and your friends, your enemies. Keep praying for our country because this country needs revival. It needs Jesus. And keep, pres keep President Obama in your prayers. He needs Jesus most of all. And God loves you so much. Thank you so much for listening and for praying. Mm -hmm.